Representative Aaron Paré, who immediately contacted the school. Representative Paré joins us now with more, along with concerned Wake County parent Steve Bergstrom. Um, Steve, I'd love to start with you just as a parent in this district. What is your reaction when you see, I guess, a pregnant man flashcard designed to teach a child the difference between red, white, and blue? Well, unfortunately, it's an issue that's been going on for quite a while in Wake County. And so, you know, parents, I'm, I'm very tuned in with some of the parents around Wake County that have been fighting these issues. We're grateful for Representative Pere for bringing this issue up and handling it swiftly and quickly. But it shouldn't take a state house representative to be able to have this issue handled so quickly. So we're grateful that the that Aaron Pere and the 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 principal at Ballantyne mm -hmm. uh, handled the issue correctly and swiftly, but it, it shouldn't take that. And this has been going on for quite a while. So it's it's shocking to see always, but it's not shocking to parents that are here in Wake County. A representative, what was the response when you brought this up with the school district? Well, it was actually an impressive response from the principal of the school, and I really need to commend her for her response to this. So I learned of this situation, and I called her immediately, and I asked her some questions. And I said, first, are you aware of this? Number two, do you approve of this? And number three, if you do not approve of this, then what can be done about it? And she was a little shocked and surprised and kind of said, my school, this is happening in my school, and she immediately contacted the area superintendent. She went down and looked in these classrooms, spoke to the teachers, and she said, I'm going to get back to you with what I find out. And about 90 minutes later, she got back to me and she just said, yes, I found these cards. And I took possession of the cards and engaged again her area superintendent and, and human resources. And I think this just really drives home the point. Look, mm -hmm. a lot of loving families come in all different shapes and sizes and thank goodness for that i mean kids need loving families right now more than anything else but i think when you're looking at a card in front of a preschooler that has a mommy hugging a daddy with a baby in his belly that's just not age appropriate material to be showing preschoolers and i'm glad that this principal in the district acted immediately representative i want to focus in on you asked three questions you said number three what can be done about it i want to address that issue because i think what you encountered here was not a school policy this wasn't a curriculum approved by the school or the school district this was a and you can correct me if I'm wrong on this, but it seems to be an individual teacher, you know, imposing their thoughts, their ideology, really forcing it, shoehorning it into a totally separate lesson. And that really is something that's going to be hard to control. There's teachers across this country who are doing that on their own volition. So what can we do about it? Well, I think that's right. In this case, this was not approved curriculum. This was a tool that that one individual teacher uh, brought into the classroom, and the principal didn't know about it, and it was not approved by the district. I think this underscores a greater point that it's so important for parents to be engaged in what goes on in their child's classroom, Good. what's being taught and how things are being taught. And I think that parents are asking for more of that um, ability to follow this. And I think that that's appropriate and makes a whole lot of sense. It always comes back to the, to the family, to the home as mm -hmm. the ultimate check on what our children, and by the way, our entire country, the direction of both, the future of both. Uh, Steve, I want to give last word to you. What is it you now hope to see in Wake County and across this country? Well, there's been some great parental rights bills that have been passed in other states. I know that North Carolina is doing the same here. What parents really want is transparency, and they want uh, parental rights. So parental alienation has got to stop at the school board level. Mm -hmm. The school board is the one that sets the tone, and so if we can get some parental rights brought back into schools, I'm running for school board here in Wake County because of this issue. And giving schools back to parents is an issue that needs to happen. Uh, so I'm grateful for Aaron Pere and other representatives that are pushing for parental rights in North Carolina. I think that's that's something that voters are gonna go to the polls about this year. Yeah, empower parents, empower the family. Uh, there are kids. All right, thank you for both of you for bringing this issue up and, and talking about it this morning on Fox and Friends. Thank, thank you. you for having us. All right, coming up.